you ever walk past somebody, smile at them, just a total stranger, and they look the other way? People suck sometimes. Skirt. Anyway, this is a Toyota Prius, 17,988 miles. I don't know what year it is. Let me check. Uh, how about a uh, 2016? And uh, this is here from uh, our local body shop. Um, not gonna do much with it except toss a tire on the right rear. But uh, figured I would video documentate the uh, the occasion because who knows, something may arise. And if it doesn't, well then you guys get to watch me change the tire. Here we go. Yeah, we'll just swing this thing in right here and get it with the floor jack. How do I put this in park? That one. Okay, powering down. Yep, we have a new tire. Let's see what's wrong with the old one. I understand it's the right rear. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's insurance companies for you. Dang, that's like not even into the, uh, structure of the tire this is actually okay it's fine for service whatever though i'll do what i'm told nuzzle it in there nice and deep like our mounting point right there on the pinch weld there we go up up and away moving on gravity a Prius gravity safety there we go, now it's super safe. Hooray. Okay, let's pull this wheel off. Come with me. Hmm, there's no inside damage. Do, do damage. Tire machine. First things first, let's pull these balancing weights off. Yep, it's gonna make a liar out of me. There, I'm off. You lose. And there's some, uh, there's some sticky weights right here too. Those have to go. I love sticky weights. I probably could have saved this for when it's time to balance, but I wanted them gone right now. Come out of there. Okay, no more, not counterbalanced. Okay, good. Recycling. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Beginning deflation process now. Uh oh, look at it. A little wheel weight stuck in there. I better get those out. There's two of them. Come here. Fail. Okay, we're gonna use this uh, shovel looking guy right here, which is actuated by pneumatic cylinders to break the bead. Now, what we're not gonna do is break the bead near the valve stem because there's a sensor in there and uh, that will break in half and that would be bad. Right about like so.
anything. Seeing as how that's a metal head, I don't want it to uh, touch the rim because it'll scratch the rim and that also would be bad. Okay, next challenge is getting the bead past the sensor again without breaking said sensor. Let's try it on down some. start again from the area where the center is. Get the tire up and around it. Begin retracting now. Okay, this new one is symmetrical. And since it is symmetrical, I'm gonna put the DOT numbers facing out. So they're incomplete here. That means they should be complete on this side. Yep, there they are. And I will also reference this little yellow guy with the valve stem. Need lubricant. Ooh. Now, opposite of the removal process, the bead will be the last thing that slips over the rim where the sensor is located. Here, let's perch up uh, right over here. Right there, watch it. And the bead goes last. Bead goes over, bead goes under, last to go around the valve stack. Snap, crackle pop. Inflation time, 32 PSI. There's still another freaking piece of lead in there. Get out of there. Uh-oh. I need that.
loud noises. And we're at 32 pounds, right where it should be. Good. to mark the weight location, holding for beep, press the arm button and move outboard until laser, turn on the new laser, move it in, line it up with the other laser, hold it in position, beep, returning arm home, closing hood, balancing wheel. laser beam laser and check it again zero zero balancing complete screws up they forget the uh, center cap that's never good boom shakalaka and I do believe these are torqued to uh, 80 foot-pounds I will double check it but 80 to 90 is acceptable These little buggers you gotta watch out for. If your rim is not centered on the studs, these can actually bottom out before the flat area bottoms out. And you won't know it, and your wheel falls off. Worst case scenario, but you have to make sure that they seat properly. using the, uh, the beam style 1960s torque wrench, but I don't feel like trolling people today. Actual picks. Mission complete. 
All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this short little video. Nothing eventful happened, which is good, I guess. Uh, I hope what I did here was uh, moderately entertaining and perhaps somewhat educational. If it was, let me know. Tap, tap that like button down below. And if it wasn't, you can let me know about that too in the comment section. I'm not exactly sure what inspired me to uh, record replacing a tire, but uh, I figured it was worth a shot. Maybe it'll stick, maybe it won't. That's why I require your feedback. That way I know if I'm doing a good job or not. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Prius powering down. Yeah.